13 weather forecast. Starting off with a look at our Monday, well, it's going to start heating up again. Uh, temperatures will be back higher in the 80s. We actually broke 80 today with enough sun before the showers came into the Eau Claire area, but we're going to inch those up a bit more for tomorrow. Bottom line is this upcoming week is going to be very, very summery. Obviously, summer officially arrives this week as well, so that comes uh, right along with it. But uh, a good week for vacation, maybe uh, lakeside, poolside, you're going to want to find ways to kind of stay cool. One positive is it doesn't appear that it's going to be exceptionally humid. As we uh, look at uh, the weather otherwise, well, we're going to be also talking about a lot of sunshine overall. Tonight, well, we're still tracking a few showers, but a lot of the more organized rain has weakened. It's lifted up to the north and east. Still seeing a few showers up in parts of Taylor uh, County, also in Price County. Uh, we're looking at uh, along Highway 8 there. Some of those showers now starting to dissipate around Ladysmith. Most places did pick up at least a little bit of rain. I know our northern folks did not get very much. I guess we have to be thankful for what we did receive. Uh, the winners here today were down towards the south. Uh, we have one more batch of showers that look to be weakening as well as they're coming into Pepin County, Durand. Uh, you may get a little bit more rain uh, near Red Wing and maybe these hold together and work up towards Menominee where there was very little for today. Weather watchers, thank you for the reports today. Just one north of Eau Claire for tonight. Uh, John up in Tony picking up about two tenths of an inch of rain. More reports down to the south. Uh, Granton, two tenths of an inch. Hatfield, almost a half inch. This is our station gauge here uh, in Eau Claire, 0.43 inches. And Arcadia, 1.20 inches. Meanwhile, just to the west, the western side there of Buffalo County, barely a drop in the bucket. It was these areas down to the south, southern Trempolo, down towards La Crosse and Wabasha, where well over an inch accumulated today. Currently in Eau Claire, 67 degrees. We've got clouds. Southeast winds are light in the dew point in the low 60s. So with the temperature and dew point close together, uh, if we see any bit of clearing, there's a pretty good chance some fog will develop for early tomorrow morning. As we look ahead at those temperatures, we're not going to be dropping very much for tonight. It will stay warmer with those higher dew points. Most places stay above 60. Then tomorrow, temperatures start to inch up more seeing more and more 80s uh, make a rebound. And looking west, well, we've got a heat ridge that is going to uh, move more towards the east. This is the upper level pattern for this week. And we're going to be kind of squashed in between a very pronounced trough in the Pacific Northwest and an upper level low coming out of the Gulf of Mexico lifting to the north and west. So this squeeze play is going to push this heat up through the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes. As that low starts to work closer, though, that will kind of flatten it out. So towards the end of the week, the jet stream will be able to move a little bit closer and that sets us up for our next chance of rain, but that's not until next weekend. So lingering showers tonight, those continue to move away as we go into early tomorrow morning, patchy fog, and then a lot of sunshine uh, for the day as we go on into tomorrow night and Tuesday, same story here. High pressure sitting to our east, southerly flow. We're gonna continue to heat things up. And as I mentioned, a very summer-like forecast for us as we officially welcome summer with the solstice on Wednesday, right around 90 here for about three or four days. And uh, as I said, our next chance of rain likely to hold off until next weekend. So kind of fun in the sun. Enjoy yourself. Stay safe. And well, summer is officially here this week. Yeah, entirely. You know, and before we lace up the uh, good old walking shoes, water, 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 yes. right? We're going to be talking a lot about that with all the heat as well. Yes, it is very important. Enjoy the weather. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. Real good. All right. <laughs> thank you, Darren. Appreciate it. Yeah.